Show tomorrow. I'm Welcome. coming in. Yeah, exactly. Well, uh, this morning we're going to be continuing our M&J Investigate series with a look at a diet that seems a little strange. Yeah, especially little... for the guys out there <laughs> since its key ingredient is a hormone found in pregnant women. Hey, you know, <laughs> according to our next guest, that particular hormone helped them together lose a whopping 110 pounds. Wow. I just remember in the beginning, you know, mom taking me to the Husky section and Sears to buy clothes for me. Ed McNair has been overweight his whole life, but when he married his wife Jennifer, both their weights ballooned. We were just, you know, eating and enjoying life, and by doing that, we were gaining weight. They both became increasingly unhappy and embarrassed, and diet after diet didn't work. You know, everything in the world, you know, I've tried at one point or another. I mean, you get to a point where you, you know, are willing to do anything. But one night, they saw an infomercial for the HCG diet, a plan that involves taking pregnancy hormones to lose weight. We were excited. We knew that this is something that we at least had to try. We ordered it, got it in, looked at the book, and we were both just astounded. They decided to do it. For 43 days, they ate 500 calories a day and took hormone injections. Well, you know, injecting pregnant women's hormone, that was quite a concern. I was, you know, unsure about that. What's it going to do? But it was worth it. You know, the first month you know, that we did it, we had, you know, amazing results. After the first round and a few additional rounds, Jennifer had lost 50 pounds, going from a size 14 to a size 4. And Ed, who had topped out at 280, had lost 60. It has completely changed the way we think about food, the way we are with food. I feel like we have actually broken away from um, needing food rather than nourishing our bodies. He didn't have any hunger because ACG, I mean, literally takes away any hunger or pains that you have. Although Ed thinks he has a few more pounds to lose, he calls HCG a miracle cure. And it feels really good to be able to go to the store and buy clothes off the rack. Both of us, I mean, we feel better, we have more energy. Now that I've lost the weight and look at myself and look at us together, I can't believe that we got that big. I mean, it's, it's just amazing. Please welcome Jennifer and Ed. And also Dr. Margaret Getty. She is a proponent of the HCG diet. And Dr. Kathleen London, who has some serious concerns about this diet. Well, I tell you, you two look great. Thank you. No question great. about it. But is it safe? There's another thing in here. Again, you don't have to exercise or you're not supposed to exercise on this diet. Well, we, we tried it the first month exercising. You know, obviously with the low-calorie diet, you know, it, we drained us of our energy a little bit. So we just decided... You know, not to exercise, we're still losing. And that's okay. You do not have to exercise. No. Mm -mm. I felt that when I exercised, I had less energy. I was mm. hungrier. Well, because you were on 500 calories Absolutely. a day, though. Are you still doing it? Not right now. I'm getting ready to start my fourth round. Yes, and I'm at my goal. You have no concerns about future problems, future complications? No, because it's not something new. Dr. Simeon's, you know, is, this is a yeah. protocol that he's done, and, and we don't refer to it as a diet. This is a protocol. This is something that, you know, because everything else is a Band-Aid. You know, as long as you're doing it, as long as you're eating the food or taking the pills, yeah. or you know, you're losing. Where are you getting it? Um, well, we started off getting it in a, a clinic in Utah. We went to a clinic and they, you know, prescribed it and looked at our, you know, a recommended. Uh, we spent about $800 our first month to do it. Where are you yeah. getting it now? We oh, online. It online. Online. Is that coming from overseas, do you think? It comes from different places. It shows up in an interesting brown package, and, you know, you never know where it's coming from. So that's, that's been package, the weird doctor. part, but, you know, <laughs> we're like, hey, what's that? Here's so. the deal. What, what exactly is this? I would be concerned that I would be, well, especially, I think you should be concerned well, you're yeah. stuffing some pregnancy hormone in, in your male body. Mm -hmm. what's, how does it work? Um, first of all, HCG in pregnancy goes to very, very high levels. This is used in very small doses. Second, there are uh, two... Uh, medical indications for using it for infertility, as a lot of women have had, and also it's used in young men who have had delayed development. So it is used in males safely yeah. for medical treatment. Well, the FDA says that's okay if you use it in those forms. But all the way back to 1974, the FDA says, don't use this as a weight loss idea. Yeah, they came out with that statement, and they did a study because there was a lot of misuse of this protocol. It was developed as, by this Dr. Simeons in Rome mm -hmm. in the 50s and 60s, and he came out with this book in 1971. It 
got out of control. People were using it as a fad weight loss. There were clinics opening up. It wasn't in, uh, as part of a medical treatment. This is a highly effective medical treatment for the medical but, problem of obesity. Dr. Getty, these studies say, okay, if you stay on 500 calories, this group just on 500 calories, this group is on 500 calories, and the HCG, they lose the same amount of weight. They lose the same Don't inject weight. yourself with something. But, but what kind of weight is that? Let's think about that. If you ate 500 calories a day, wouldn't you lose muscle? Wouldn't you, yes. wouldn't you get dehydrated and yes. when you get tired and you would lose your normal fat? Don't you know people have lost gun extreme weight loss programs? You get thin in the face, mm -hmm. you get haggard, you get tired, and you get skin folds and hanging fat. On the HCG, HCG opens up the locks on your stored fat. Absolutely. Fat is put away uh, for, for women to be able to use in pregnancy, even sure. if they're starving, the baby will to be To build healthy. a baby. Plus, Dr. HCG Lund is causing you to, you know, also release 2,000 calories of stored fat, so. Dr. London is, is cracking up over <laughs> here. Now, what? There's no medical basis for any of this. We have, back all the way to the 70s, um, four, five, six double-blind placebo-controlled trials. One of them was a crossover study, meaning the same people got the placebo or the, in, the real drug. No difference mood, fat loss, or anything else. Why are pregnant women so skinny then? Gee, when I was pregnant, I did gain weight, and I gained fat, and I well, had cravings. I, I is, the laws, is there such a thing as abnormal fat? No. Fat is fat. You know, it's calories in, calories out. Period. This is calories in, calories out. Okay, this is diet and exercise well, when, and lifestyle change. When I was in medical training, one thing I heard over and over again is half of what we're teaching you is not true, but we don't That's know which frightening. half. Mm -hmm. well, we don't know which half. And so, the, when, you the, when you look at the when you look at the well, Stanford did. <laughs> um, <laughs> so when you I look like at the, <laughs> That's good. The you know, we've tried everything, done everything, been our way my whole life. We tried to do it the right way. Tried to do diet and exercise. Trust us, we've we've tried everything. And not to mention, it's not the weight. I don't care if I'm 115, 120. I want to be a size 4. I know you do, but do you want to have your liver in 10 years? Absolutely. Well, but has there been any suggestion that HCG affects your liver? I, I want to know. I'm a physician. I care about what's right for my patients. Mm -hmm. What are the side effects people are worried about? This has been used since the 1950s. Kathleen, what are, what are you worried about? Are okay, so let's look at how HCG works in the body. So we use it for delayed puberty. So we give it to boys because it will mimic a hormone called LH, and that causes the, the testosterone to increase. Mm -hmm. It causes, though, in the testes get bigger and there are all the other effects that you're going to get from testosterone. Testosterone in adults potentially will feed. We use it also, HCG is a marker for testosterone particular cancer. So it can potentially feed testosterone, prostate cancer, testicular cancer, heart disease. In women, it acts as LH, goes into the ovaries where it causes more estrogen. And it sounds like that. there are a lot of risks to this that might, it might be less beneficial you know, than just going on a diet. I didn't feel exercise. as much risk as being overweight and being on the path I was going. It's Trust worth me, it. I've tried okay, everything. So let's get at that. I've been there, done lesson. that, tried that, and I just got to a point where I'm willing to do anything. Yeah. I mean, there's doctors willing to give people gastric bypass. That's, 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 that's crazy. I We're think that's safer than this, and that's, I don't like it. Well, that's, but, not, but, that's, that's a band-aid. That's the risk a band -aid. Band -aid. No, but, you, but, but these are theoretical risks. There has not been shown that these things happen. There is a body of patients right, that no have data. used this over decades. There is data. There is data. Look at the there results. Over 65, over 6,500 patients. The woman down at the end here. Shalom Shik. She loves this stuff. So much so, she's a diet coach and will teach you how to do it on the internet. Did you struggle with weight all your life? Yes, all my life. Up and down and, you know, like they were saying, everything that I've ever tried has been a band-aid. What was really amazing is that last summer I was on a binge that wouldn't stop. I've always had binge eating problems, compulsive eating problems, but I was on one that I couldn't stop this time. It was gone longer than a week. Let's give you visual evidence of how this has worked for Shalom. We My have a, goodness. This, this Look before. at this. Okay, these are, these are some snap shots. This is after the round, the first round, mm -hmm. and the second round, losing some more weight there. She's shrinking. Round three, where's she going? <laughs> She's gone. Whoa! Wow! <laughs> Dang. Dang. So how much total weight? Dang. 55 pounds as of yesterday. Kathleen, though, you're not too happy with it. 500 calories a day, you're going to lose weight. Right, and no, when we come back, we're going to meet the...
One second, guys. The spokesperson for the American Dietetic Association will be joining us, who has a lot to say about this diet. Yeah. Be right back.